Hey guys, welcome back. If you don't know who I am, my name is Alana. So glad that you guys are here. Uh, before we get started on this video, I just wanted to let you know that I do have an Instagram account that has a ton of beauty and hair related content. So I would love it if you would give me a follow. Uh, my account is at Sandra Vintage. See you there. Okay, let's get started. The first hairstyle is a top pony and a French braid. I start by sectioning the very top because this is where I'm going to create the French braid. And then I like to section off and secure the back so I don't grab any hairs that aren't going to be part of the braid. Okay, now we start French braiding and hopefully you guys know how to French braid already, but if you don't, I'll do a quick little rundown and hopefully it won't be too confusing. So you start by taking three equal size strands and then you take the leftmost strand and you put it over the middle strand and then that, that now becomes the middle strand. And then you take the rightmost strand and you put it over the middle strand. Now that becomes the middle strand. And you keep doing that and grabbing more hair as you go and then eventually you'll have a French braid. Normally when I create this braid, I tilt my head back. Uh, it's just easier to create the braid and all the hair isn't getting into my face. Um, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you guys what it would look like. So it kind of looks a little confusing and messy, but hopefully you get it. Once the braid is done, secure it with a little elastic and you got yourself a little top pony. To make it look a little neater, I grab a little section from the ponytail and I wrap it around the elastic a few times until all the hair is wrapped around pretty much. And then secure that with a bobby pin. I like making the top section look a little bit more fuller, so I'm going to pull apart the braid a little bit. Hairstyle number one done. It's kind of cute, right? The second hairstyle, we begin by parting to the side. And then starting from the back, I am going to create a Dutch braid. And if you don't know how to Dutch braid, well, I got you guys covered. I created a YouTube video as well, and I break down the Dutch braid. I'll include the link below. Uh, so if you need some help, watch that video first. But if you know how to French braid, or understood my shitty explanation of how to French braid earlier. For the Dutch braid, all you do is go under the strand rather than going over the strand in the French braid. So I'm moving the braid towards my forehead and then curving it towards my ear. And so I have like this little arch, this little like half crown look. Once I reach my ear, I braid the rest of the strand and secure that with an elastic. Then I pull apart the braid to make it look fuller and larger. I don't know, this braid is reminding me right now of like a long German pretzel. Like, just maybe it's the color. Like, I just want to eat it. I need like a little bowl of mustard, please. Then I tuck this delicious German pretzel to the back of my head, secure that with a bobby pin, and that's that. Where's my mustard? Seriously. With the third hairstyle, I'm having a middle part because I'm going to create two random Dutch braids. And so I start uh, here with like an inch section and I'm going to begin Dutch braiding. Start with the three strands and then put it under the middle strand, blah, 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 blah. And then I go all the way down towards my ear and I braid the rest of the strand and secure that with an elastic. Okay, I'm sure you know the drill by now. Uh, just pulling apart the braid, you know, fuller, larger, thicker, all those adjectives. Bam, done. Tuck that behind the ear. Secure it with a bobby pin. Done. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, let's do this in hyperspeed. It's kind of like a headband braid, but it's broken in the center. So it's like a broken headband. For the fourth hairstyle, I created two Dutch braid pigtails. I leave a little bang out because I like the little bang. And, uh, oh, that sounded dirty. Okay, and then I'm going to just start Dutch braiding and I'm going to go just towards the back of my head, creating a little pigtail, securing that with an elastic, and then I'll do the exact same thing on the other side. I like to have these braids fuller, so I pull them apart as much as I can, um, not to take the strands out of the hair because I do have short hair, so I just pull them apart as much as I can. You can leave it like this with the pigtails, but what I like to do is kind of bring those two pigtails together and grab a little scrunchie and just make it into a ponytail. For the last hairstyle, we're doing a side part. And then with the side part, you're gonna section that in half. And then I'm going to just tie up that top section to get it out of the way. And then with the bottom section, I'm starting with a Dutch braid. It's gonna be a little tiny Dutch braid, and I'm gonna go from the front all the way to the back, not the very back, but 
probably just a little past the ear. And then I'm going to braid the entire strand and then secure that with an elastic. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the top section. Um, but I'm going to go just a little bit past the bottom section just so they're not ending at the exact same spot because the braids are going to hang down and I don't want them to be on top of each other. I just want them to be beside each other. This is the fun part and I'm just going to go crazy and not like think about it too hard. Just going to pull it apart, make them all a little wonky. Some bits will be like bigger than others, uh, more pulled out than others and I'm going to do that for both of them. And that's that. It's kind of just like a, you know, a little funky hairdo, a little boho. Uh, but yeah, super simple, I think. All done. Those are five of my favorite braided hairstyles for short hair. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you love the videos, please subscribe. See you guys soon. Bye.